Bats. This person says, oh, it's coming from up ahead. It's around the hallway corner. White fluffy coat, long flowing hair, beautiful slender legs. This. Oh my, oh my! Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a celebrity special guest! That awesome fur, that amazingly slender body, that luscious form-fitting attire. My babe sensors are off the charts! Oh my god. I finally sensed another's presence, and this is what I met with? Actually, what are you? <laughs> I'm a teeny She's teddy bear. got a good sense of humor! I'm a bear, obviously. A teddy bear. That's right, teddy bear energy, son. I twirl around in place. <laughs> See how elegant? Only I could do that. But, late, but the lady crinkles her brow and cocks her head. Mm, she's awfully shy for someone so pretty. A teddy bear? Or some kind of bear at least? Well, I'm willing to take you at your word. Though really the only bear-like thing about you is your ears. Oh, Ooh, that's what is the this? small details. What's important is how adorably sexy I am. I'll table that statement for now. The main point, as far as I can tell, is that you were the one calling himself the general in this tournament, yes? Oh, not that again. She may be beautiful, babe, but she has a lot to learn about aesthetics. A father like him is a chalk and cheese compared to my beautiful coat of fur. No, no. If you take a closer look, I'm totally different. Look here, or here. That other guy's an imposter. <clears throat> it really burns my fur to see such a cheap knockoff fool, everyone. It's not me, it's my evil twin. Mm, quite a novel excuse. <clears throat> no, I'm not making excuses. Look closer at my fur here. See? I don't see any difference at all. <laughs> Cripes and toast, I mean. How mean. She has no critical. She has no critical eye. Wait, huh? The pretty lady glaring at Miss President? We just met. Why are things so weird between them? How could I have not noticed? At this rate, there'll be a fight between a beautiful lady and a cute girl of a little homie. Whoa! Wait a second, Miss! <laughs> oh it's my god. true that Miss President is cute, but you're charming too. Magical, even. This guy. You must be Labrys. Even this lady's ignoring me? <sighs> What is this madness? Everyone I meet today, way too good to ignore me. In fact, two lovelies are ignoring me right now to continue this conversation. What are you talking about? That ain't my name. Then tell me what your name is. I am Mitsuru Kirijo, and I belong to the Kirijo group. Kirijo? I... My name... Are your memories murky? Then will it help you remember if I tell you that your official name is? No, Some shady. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> what? Hold it right there. What? No matter how pretty this lady is, I can't let her do this. I never really get what's going on, but I can tell Miss President doesn't like it one bit. And forcing someone to hear something they don't like is <laughs> downright. Well, I don't know what wrong. you're up to, but it's clear Miss President doesn't like it. And although I don't get what's going on, you should think more how she feels. Teddy. <laughs> that was awesome. The pretty lady will break down in tears over her mistake, and I'll be there to console her. You have a valid her. point. But if she is Labrys, she could endanger more people if I leave her as is. I can't... Huh? I wasn't expecting that. Uh oh. The mind is suddenly on. Huh? I was trying to decide how to deal with you, but it looks like the troublemakers are figuring amongst themselves. Which is perfect timing to add a little intermission bout to the Grand Prix, where you kill each other. Thank you, God. You are fake Teddy. There, there. You wanted to have fun, right? Yep. Beat up that lady there, just like you did with the guy in the red tape. Oh boy. How dare he hoot his mouth off like that? I was about to get angry and again, but as soon as the fake Teddy mentioned the guy in the red cape, 
pretty lady's eyebrow twitched. I definitely didn't, didn't miss that. Hmm, could it be? <gasps> miss! Don't tell me that red-caped pervert is a friend of yours! Are you a kidnapper too? Do you mean Akihiko? That's a rather harsh way to describe him. But are you saying you defeated him? You must be more skilled than your ludicrous appearance lets on. Miss! I'm starting to get the feeling that you're a bad guy! How cruel! You toyed with my innocence! This is a guy who claims to have innocence, really? Come on, my G. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I cannot remain confined like this. If you intend to resist, I will show no mercy. Ooh! Looks like the P1 Grand Prix intruder and a false teddy interfering with the tournament are gearing up for a brawl over here. It looks pretty interesting, so we're going to show our viewers this fight, too. Who will come out on top? Huh? That's Risei Chan's voice. Where is she watching from? Come on, if you don't concentrate, you'll get knocked right out. We made sure to leave you out of this, and you still came wandering back in. <laughs> so you'd better at least put up a good fight. Ready, set. Whoa, why can't we? Why won't we say, Chow, listen to me? Instead of clearing up the misunderstanding, we say, Chow, made it worse. I feel the ladies more pumped up. I can spell no! it. This makes any sense. But I'm still Miss President's knight. I can't let it end like this. I'll give this fight everything I got. Rather than listening to reason, you'll stay loyal. So many people. An enemy you may be, but I admire your determination. Now, come. All right, we're getting close to the end of the the end of the stream. I'll be honest with you guys. I'm a little tired. Yeah. Oh crap. Oh yeah, batter up. Roberto Clemente style. Look at that. Nice, got him with the tomahawk. Yeah, there we go. Good little one punch from there. Alright, KO. Good stuff. 